What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. You know I love overkill tactical flashlights. And so that's why I'm so excited about checking out this one. It's by Rizoski. I think that's how you pronounce it. I may be wrong. This is the Rizo FL1 1200 lumens, which is crazy. Ultraviolet sterilization light. Oh, that's cool. Little UV light on the, the back. Maybe you can also find pea stains with it. But I've never checked out this brand before. I'll tell you what, just by virtue of its packaging, I'm pretty excited. I definitely like when they make it look um, like a serious piece of hardware out here. And comes in a nice package here. What we have is a, a nice nylon case. So it looks like zippered here, Rezoski. Oh, we get a bunch of accessories inside of it too. So a uh, micro USB cable here for charging a nice lanyard that you can lock around your wrist on that. Oh man, all right, so we get a bunch of stuff here. We get uh, some extra O-rings here. We get some like uh, additional silicon uh, protectors. You can see where silicone protectors, you can see where it's filling in like the access ports on that. So you got that if you need it. And then what we have here are a couple of caps. I'm gonna just dump everything out. Um, so, Looks like this one's a red one, so we could use it as a signal, uh, put it on the top there. And then this one, I'm just assuming is like a cap for protection. Oh, well, you could kind of use it like a lip baton too. So that goes on there, and then this one can go on there too. So you just have a round one, so that's pretty cool. F flag in airplanes or something. And then it does come with batteries, which is really nice as well. So we get two Lithium 18650 batteries, 2200 milliamp hours. That's pretty impressive. And then here is the flashlight, and this is why you all come to the channel. The Razaski. It's actually pretty long. It's nice and slender, and it's got a great look. I mean, I love the orange here. So, like I said, these are all replaceable, which is kind of nice. And if I pull this up, what I think we'll find here is the micro USB port. So, charging this sucker is going to be really easy. You'll be able to do it with the batteries on board. Output. Seriously, there's a USB power output on the flashlight. That is awesome. So, man, this is definitely more functional than a lot of flashlights. I could charge up my phone, give myself a little extra boost or something, make an emergency call. You can see here how it looks like the selector for the, the, um, the flashlight here is on the collar. So I'm not even sure what all these are, but SOS, that's USB lamp power and... Yeah, I'm not even sure what all these are. Kind of full power, half power, low power, I'm guessing. And then I'm not sure if that's like strobe, maybe. So we'll find out. I'm going to just move it here back to power in the meantime. And then we have, here is, oh, here's that UV light emitter, I think. Or maybe it's, ah, uh, must come from here. So this is the button that you would power it on, and then you'll have a UV light, which is good for finding Oh, special fluids, as well as <laughs> tanning or growing your uh, herbs, something like that. And then I'm trying to see nice, nice machining. It's all very nice. Rosowski down here, and then the cap here. I'm not sure. We got another silicone cap right there, and that looks like I'm not even sure what that is, but we'll find out. And then uh, so that's obviously protected, and then you could run the lanyard right through there. I'm going to pull this off here. O-ring right there, a nice solid seal. And then we would throw the batteries right in here. And I think you'll end up using both of them because it seems, no, you know what? Looks like you only need one. So again, kind of overkill because, man, I love it when they give you extra batteries. That's pretty sweet. Now, you can take a look at this end. We have one LED emitter in there and see how they've cast nut this uh, top end here, and I don't see we can focus on. Oh, no, we can. Look at this. Okay, so it's going to come apart up here as well, I think. I think. That's what we're doing. Yeah, look at that. Oh man, look at that. So you could charge it up directly in there, and then that's where the USB out is. So totally use it like a portable power bank. Wow, this thing is totally versatile, man. Way more than I thought. It's kind of crazy. All right, so. Oh, look at that. All right. So down here is a magnet. Look at that. So you can hang this sucker up to 
you know, the structure in your campsite, those types of things. You know, use it as a work light. That's pretty cool. I'm definitely digging that. All right, let's get on to the let's get on to the business end here. For here, I've got uh, this thing here switched to power. Let's see what we can do here. So if I switch it there, look at that. Just a little, I just an easy t twist of this. Obviously, gets the flashlight on. It actually makes it really really easy to use. And then if I kind of scroll, and you can see that's really bright. So assuming that's the full 1200 lumen output. If we go here, a little half bright, quarter bright, and I'm assuming this is strobe. Whoa, brace yourself. Uh, SOS, I do like that they're all marked. That's pretty cool. And then the USB lamp, it says right here. So I guess this is all the lamp up here, but then we get this light here and I'm gonna hit that and turn it on. And that lights up a lot. And I'm assuming that this will be kind of uh, what you use to find fluids and stuff like that. Don't look straight at it. I'm trying not to. Okay, let's try this sucker outside. You're in the darkness with my new flashlight, the Rezoski, and a brand that's brand new to me. And it'll be interesting here because one, we've got snow on the ground, so we're getting a little bit of light reflection, even though it is deep into the night here. But then also, um, I'm kind of curious because I'm going to fire this thing off with one hand. And because of that, uh, instead of having a button, having the ring, we'll see how that works out here. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of swing it over. I'm going to swing it the other way. So I'm going to go the reverse of what I did inside. And you can see here the SOS is going off. We've got the the, the strobe. Man, that is really bright strobe. If I go over here, I think this is kind of that quarter power. And this is really more than adequate for hiking, even biking um, and moving at speed. Because I can light up 20 feet out in front of me very, very bright. And then if we go up one more level here, that is very bright. You can see it here on the trees itself out there. Then if I go one more, I think this is the brightest level. And that is really bright. So I, I think it advertises on the package is 1,200 lumens. And I would not uh, disagree with that. This is a really bright flashlight. It's got a nice kind of pencil beam in the middle, but obviously illuminates all around quite well. And then if I swing it one more notch, then we go back to off. So, you know, it's really actually easy. It's much easier than I thought to hit this little ring. You just kind of, you know, even with just my thumb, I can kind of grab it and move it around. So that's actually um, not nearly as difficult as I thought it was. And, uh, you know, it's bright and I love the form factor. It's really easy to grip. It's nice and slim. Uh, it works as a power bank, all sorts of things. So I'm really impressed with this flashlight. I'm definitely going in one of my bug out bags here. So if you want to pick one of these up, I will put a link to it in the description. Peter Von Panda out.